Do you know the 10 unwritten camping rules? No. Keep watching and I'll tell you. Stop that. What are you doing? You know you can't drink alcohol outside your camper. Give me that. And your pants and your shirt, they don't match. What are you wearing? Hi, I'm Steve Turtle, and I'm a work camper, and it's good to be in charge. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you should subscribe and ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Last week, I talked about six free petting zoos here in the Amish country of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And we had a blowout wet wagon ride here at Millbridge Village Camp Resort. Now, if you missed either of those stories and you'd like to see them, I'll leave a link or two right up there. This week, I'm talking about those 10 unwritten camping rules, the enforcement. And I'm gonna sing a song about Gus. So come on, got a lot to talk about. Let's get right to it. Who cares? Camping is a chance to get away. But in most cases, you'll still be surrounded by people. And all those people, they're out trying to enjoy their camping time as well. So to ensure that they enjoy their camping time as much as you enjoy yours, it's important to follow the unwritten camping rules. Here's 10 to remember on your next trip. Hey, don't leave that trash at your site for the next camper. Okay, I'll take it by the dumpster on my way out. Did you know that leaving trash is frowned upon? And in some campgrounds, they'll even charge you after you leave your trash behind. Did you remember the motto? Yes, I remember. Take out what you bring in. Where are you going? Is that your campfire? Camp store? Yes. Did you know you could endanger those around you? This is one of the most important camping rules, no matter where you go. And be sure to put out your fire before you go to bed or head it out for the day. Or if you leave your site for some reason, put that fire out, put some water on it. Does that belong to your monkey? I don't have a monkey. Whether you're at your campsite or walking through the campground, clean up after your pets. Don't let your pet wander over to somebody's campsite and take a big poop. Are you doing dishes? No. Are those dirty dishes? No. Do you know how unsanitary that is? Dirty dishes should not be in a sink where people wash their face and hands. No. No. Why are you cutting through my campsite? I don't know. Why are you cutting through my campsite? I don't know. I'm not going to pay your fee. Don't no. intrude on my space just because you're bathroom. trying to save I'm a little old. bit of time going to the bathroom. I'm going to start charging you money. I'm not paying your fee. I'm going to charge you a dollar. Fee. It's Charge the shortest way to the bathroom. Charge them all a dollar. Well, we're halfway there. This is not a commercial for Gus Away. Gus Away did not pay me in any way. Did not compensate me. Now, if you feel really, really bad about that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a comment. Let me know if you know any different campground rules and you'd like to share them. Did you read the rules about quiet hours? No. What rules? 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I'm trying to get some beauty sleep. So what, you want me to turn it down? No, just give it to me. You can pick it up at the office tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to find the trash can. Well, that's not where the trash can is at. <laughs> where are you going? Get back over here and pick that up. I'm waiting. I don't think he's going to come back. Hey, keep your pet on a leash. At the campsite, on the trails, and in the campground. Puppy, I can't remember the puppy's name. Ticker? Ruger. Oh, I'm sorry. That pet is on a leash.
Did you leave that firewood for me? Sure. Well, bless your heart. That'll be one less thing that you got to pack out today. And the next campers, when they roll in, they'll have firewood, because I'm going to give it to them. Did you move this picnic table? No. Well, then how did it get here? Maybe the campers before me. Are you planning on putting it back? Sure. And fill in any trenches or holes that you may have created so that it doesn't affect the next camper. Okay, I know I said 10, but number 11 is a bonus. Don't blow up the bathroom. <laughs> I plan to talk about that during my live stream on Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This Friday night, coming up. I got a lot of questions. I'm hoping you can help me out. I got a new duty and I need to talk to you about it. While some of these camping rules are standard at most campgrounds, uh, a lot of them come with just experience. Experience as you go camping. And remember that there's other campers out there trying to have a good time too. So follow the unwritten rules and any others that you pick up along the way. Just be courteous. Know that while you're out there having a good time, there's someone else trying to have a good time too. Follow the rules. Follow the campground rules and the unwritten rules. Be courteous. Be kind to your fellow campers. So last Saturday, I was on a live stream as a contestant. Some channel called The Art of RVing. I don't know if you heard him or not. He's some kind of mega channel. But he had a game called The Gong Show. And he wanted me to get on there and do something. Show a talent. And then they gong you if they don't like you. Well, you know how that goes. Well, this, this channel has a host, is Mark, and another hostette called Carrie. And they got a puppet named Gus. Well, Gus was the gonger. And I started singing my song, and I thought it was a very good song, and Gus gonged me. So I finished the song anyway. I don't know if you did or did not get a chance to hear it, but I thought it was a pretty good song, so I'm going to sing it for you right now. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a Gus, E-I-E-I-O. So if you have a Gus and you don't want to fuss, you can call on us, E-I-E-I-O. We can spray him dead or knock him on his head. E-I-E-I-O. We can put him in a box or hit him a whole lot with rocks. E-I-E-I-O. So if you have a Gus and you don't want to fuss, you can call on us. Gus Busters. E-I-E-I-O. This message was brought to you by the Anti-Gus Committee. I'm Steve Turtle and I approve this message. A pretty good song, right? Now listen, if you haven't been over to The Art of RVing, seriously, go on over to their channel and show them a little love. Watch one of their videos and leave them a comment. Tell them Steve Turtle sent you. They got some really good comedy and they have a couple live streams and a video each week. Lots of fun. Go on over there. Come on. Seriously, go on over. Well, that's my story for the week. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, click like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to hear more stories like this one. New stories every week on Wednesday, right here on this YouTube channel. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't wanna miss one. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.